Now, as thousands of people in our state are still dealing with power outages in the aftermath of the flooding issues, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is making it a priority to tackle these issues, not only declaring a state of emergency in Wayne and Monroe counties, but also holding energy companies accountable with the much needed fixes to come. I sat down with the governor today to get her thoughts. How was your first day of first grade, you guys? Good. Well, Governor Gretchen Whitmer was visiting Forest Elementary in East Point on the first day of school. She was quick to recognize to us all schools are not so lucky. Many still without power are shuttered, and the governor understands the pain firsthand. I can tell you even at the governor's residence, we were without power the last few days and, and still are. I'm not complaining. I'm feeling the exact same frustration that I think others are in, and that's why we're going to continue to push to upgrade our grids, to rebuild our infrastructure, and to do our part to mitigate our impact on this, this climate change that is making us all feel the pain. We were the only television crew to sit down exclusively with the governor today to talk about the effects of the back-to-back -back storms that brought torrential rainfall, widespread power issues, and devastating flooding. I have talked with the leadership at our utilities. I know that there's unprecedented investment happening to get lines under the ground as opposed to in the air with all these um, events. Five people lost their lives from either traffic crashes or trees falling onto homes. I care a great deal about the people that are suffering and, and are in mourning and certainly um, will continue to support. The governor says considering Michigan's infrastructure has not been updated in more than 100 years, combined with global warming and other climate issues, we need improvements and we need them fast. When people say to you, oh my God, why are we seeing so much flooding and so frequently? What do you say to them? I think, you know, I will recall when we had flooding of highways in Detroit, that historic amount of rain, more than you'd get in a normal year, fell within, you know, hours. Our systems were built 100 years ago. They are not prepared to take on all the unique challenges that we're dealing with from climate change. And that's why building out infrastructure as well as doing our part to mitigate climate it, climate change is it's so important. You can't do one and think you've fixed the problem. We have to do both. At last check, DTE had more than 18,000 people still without power. That is down from 250,000 on Friday. This is happening with great regularity. And so we can't deny that it's happening. We've got to focus on how do we mitigate it and how do we rebuild our, our infrastructure to handle it. Just unbelievable, right? The governor says it may indeed take decades to fix the issues with our 100 plus year old infrastructure. And while she does not have an exact timeline from DTE or consumers, she says the planning is certainly underway. And when people think about their own basements, for example, when you have all of that flooding, they used to fix it from the outside. I dig a trench around your home. Well, now they come inside and dig because that's sort of the new way of doing it. It's the same way with our electrical grid. She wants, not she, but energy companies companies want to bring that underground so we won't have so many issues. And even when you think about people not believing in climate issues, I think people are starting to believe because it's happening everywhere. We saw what happened in Hawaii, over in Canada, here in Michigan. So it's going to take a while, but we have real issues That's that right. need fixing. And it's going to cost a lot of money. We're going to have to bite the bullet. But, you know, the world is changing in various ways and we're going to have to adapt, especially if we want to keep attracting people to our areas. Absolutely, and we'll all have to work together and yep. compromise and do things together to make it work. Okay, Carolyn, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Mm -hmm.